All right, there we go. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be playing today here on the Game in Palooza Empire. Uh, memory Lane, we're going to be playing a little bit of uh, Donkey Kong Country 3, or 2 that is, this is part 2. Let's see if we can actually see it a little bit better here. And for some reason this camera... There we go. And the label looks pretty decent. This is of course an authentic copy. I do have a few reproduction Super Nintendo games, but uh, this is a real authentic copy. And we'll see any day now. Trying to show you guys the back of the cartridge, and there we go. You can see the pins are in pretty good shape. Not bad. Alright, let's pop the game in and let's play it. And this is going to be uh, being played on a Magnavox 24 inch CRT TV from 1995. So this is more than likely. The type of TV that you would have for uh, back then for retro gaming. You know, back then it wasn't considered retro gaming, it was quite modern. Alright, here we go. Let's zoom in and have some fun here. I definitely remember this quite a bit. Let's see if we can make this focus. So we got Diddy Kong's Quest. And it's a title screen right here with nice elaborate music and everything. It sounds pretty cool. Let's start the game. And it looks like we have a save file on each portion of the uh, game right here. Each slot has a save file, so I don't want to erase those, so I'm going to pick the one with the least amount. You got some very, very suspenseful music. Alright. Let's see what we got here. So that's how you set the game, I guess. It's a little area that you can go to to learn different things and save your game and all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's give this a try. <laughs> Got a little bit too over overly confident. Alright, let's try that again. These guys that jump freak me out. I already got the treasure chest right here. I see. Oh, come on. 
Uh, this game is pretty cool. I never really liked it as much as the first Donkey Kong, though. It obviously is great. Uh, which Donkey Kong do you guys like the best? Oh crap. That guy's pissed. Run to the end. Oh, 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 God. I love that. That's cool. All right, let's see what we have here. I remember going to a friend's house and he would always have Donkey Kong Country uh, 2 playing either that or Mortal Kombat 2. Get over here. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's see if we can get up here. This level's pretty cool. I like this level. See what's over here. I have cannonballs, which is pretty cool. Oh, I didn't see that thing there. Oh my god. Okay, right, let's see if we can make it across. There we go, that's the end of the level right there. That was uh, pretty cool. When this game came out, uh, this is one of those games that really stood out on the Super Nintendo. So, what that being said, Sega came out with uh, Vector Man. And Vector Man was um, like their digitized answer to uh, Donkey Kong. Like some sort of futuristic uh, digitized game that, well, we'll play that. And you guys can see it. We'll do that in another episode. But that was basically their answer to Donkey Kong Country because of how um, smooth the animations were and everything. I mean, this is probably one of the best looking uh, Super Nintendo games. And I think this is the same exact level we, we just played. Yeah, it is. Okay, so... Slowdown. Did you see that? We actually had some slowdown there. That was crazy. So, as you can see, this game pushed the Super Nintendo to its limits.
I never really recalled seeing slowdown in this game, but apparently it's possible. You can see I just died. And here's another level right here. This guy's crazy. All right, I think we found out like a little bonus area right here. And that was a very quick bonus area. Oh man. And here we go. It's one of my favorite portions of the game, you can just ride this gigantic animal right here and just plow through everything. And supposedly there is... I thought there was like a little bonus series right there, but I guess not. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks like we have Cranky Pong. Choose different things here. Where do I go here? Oh. The map on this is a lot more kind of not as good as the first game because you have to like it's, it's almost like a maze. So like you have to get to certain areas to over here you can go up, but you can't go left or right over here. You have to go back over here just to go right. And you know that's kind of annoying. enjoy some of the uh, awesome hip-hop music on the uh, Super Nintendo. Sounds awesome. And he's trying to make us fly somewhere. I don't want to do this. appear that this is the next level that we have to oh yeah this level all right well here we go we have to throw the egg at the stupid bird <laughs> oh boy and he's pissed it's kind of like a uh, super mario 2 we have to pick up the eggs I think this goes on for a couple times, maybe three times. This bird, this bird's really mad. Oh god! I got him. I think he's still gotta be hit a few more times. 
Oh, what the? Oh, the egg broke. And I am waiting for an egg. Oh my god. None of those things want to land. Of course, that one landed as soon as I died. <sighs> well, that was a little sample of Donkey Kong Country 2. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to play a little Vector Man. Uh, this so you guys can see a little comparison of what Sega's answer was to Donkey Kong Country. I'll put that in another episode. Um, I'll do them side by side. Maybe next week will be Vector Man and whatnot. Um, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below. And let me know what your favorite Donkey Kong game is. Uh, I personally, I like the first one the best.